Yo guys, welcome to Team Assassination. How's everybody doing? This is Assassin Dave right here. And today we're starting a new series called Road to Legend Let's Play Mobile Legends. Basically, basically the purpose of this series is to share with all of you guys how to solo queue, some tips and tricks some, uh, for new players, either you're new or you've played the game for a while you have problem ranking up. Uh, we're going to go through the entire process together. Much like you, you watch RPG game, you watch us uh, walk through on YouTube, this is the exact same thing. But we're going to do that for MOBA. Right? We're going to show you how to rank up, what champion is best for ranking up, and obviously as a new player, you get a lot of free champions when you first started. Mobile Legends are extremely generous, generous with all their new, to all the new players that new coming, upcoming players, right? Upcoming stars in this game. So uh, you, get, you can get a Saber for free, you can get a Saber skin for free, you get a Layla for skin, uh, Layla for free, and I think you can skin for free. So we're gonna go through all of that. We're gonna go through like what champion you wanna play and what emblem sets you wanna play. So this is a quick introduction about who I am. So you get to know a little bit of um, the person who's sharing this information with you, okay? Well, my name is Dave, obviously David, and uh, this is my past season score, right? Obviously, I have 675 stars. As a YouTuber and a streamer, uh, I have a lot of things to do during the daytime. I do not have all the time to play the game, but this is all that all the, uh, the best I can get. And right now, we're part of Team Assassination Esports, one of the best teams in Mobile Legends, and we're looking forward to play uh, in the professional scene in the future for Mobile Legends, right? Statistic-wise, uh, as you can see, I played over 4,000 4, games and was uh, close to 80% win rate, 75% win rate. And my Hayabusa, I have played over 400 games. Most of my champions have played over 200, 300 games, right? 200 games. The reason why is uh, this is my style, right? When I stream, if you've been watching our stream, watching our YouTube channel, you will know that we have guides who have tips and tricks for almost all champions, right? And um, one thing I'm really proud of, new champion Arathel uh, just came out not too long ago, right? Right now I have 18 games on Arathel as you can see 15 games of uh, 16 games out of which are glorious legend ranked and is, right now we have a hundred percent win rate on Arathel. so uh, definitely a lot of tips and tricks that we offer here as we go along are tips and tricks that I learned from the top players in North America and all across the world so sit tight get your popcorn and play along with me for this journey Let's play Mobile Legends, Road to Legends. So well, let's quickly get to our new account. Let's get started. And just a quick note, we're going to start with Elite 2 because accidentally, uh, I was ranking up my new account and accidentally ranked up a little bit too fast. So we're going to start with Elite 2, which is Elite 3 and Warrior has no difference, guys. So it shouldn't have a, bit, a big problem at all. So we're going to start with Elite. Warrior is a level where if you just play, you probably can win, right? Because a lot of time you actually play against bots. I don't even know why. <laughs> if not boss, enemy feel like boss, right? So just play the game. Uh, if you do the tutorial pretty well, you should pass through warrior really, really quickly just by yourself. Elite is where we want to start. And I accidentally, I skipped through Elite 3. So we're going to st start with Elite 2. Yo, guys, welcome back to our new account. And as you can see right now, once again, play with my iPad. Uh, you can play, obviously, a lot of people play with their phone. But I choose to play with my iPad, and it's really convenient for me. Um, and we're gonna start our first episode of Road to Legend. Let's quickly click on Ranked and click on Start. And while we're while we're queuing, I do want to talk about some basic stuff. You as a new player, and we're gonna start this um, series talking about emblem sets, talking about battle spells, talking about all those basic stuff that you need to know to become a good player in Mobile Legends, right? It's obviously a lot of them are basic to across all mobile games. For example, emblem sets. What is emblem sets? It is the kind of like attributes, pre-added attributes before the game even start. It gives us a little advantage uh, over other players, right? Over other players, because uh, if you have a higher emblem set, you're gonna have higher attributes for your characters in game, even before the game gets started, right? Right now, it looks like we are we find a queue, um, and obviously below epic, you just you can pick any champion you wanted in your team. And there's no problem, right? After Epic, there's pick and ban, so there will be no overlapping heroes. There will be a lot more strategy. So before that, when we're at Elite, you just want to get really good at couple champions. And obviously, um, when you first start the game, you're going to get a champion called Layla for free. You're going to get a champion called um, Zalom for free, right? So today's series, we're going to talk mainly about Layla and Zalom. So Let's quickly lock into the champion here. There's a lot of skin that you can pick, obviously. Uh, I don't have those skins. But battle spell wise, when you first start at level one, you're gonna have a free execute or retribution, right? Uh, meaning uh, rest of the battle spells, you have to level up and gradually get them. But before 
um, you start leveling up, you're gonna get retribution right away. And I recommend you get retribution over execute because this will allow you to farm a lot faster. And in, mo in mobile game, the name of the game is called economy. It's all about who can farm faster. It's about who can get ahead on those farms. So you really do not want to get execute uh, and go for this little bit more extra damage. What you do want to get is retribution so you can farm in the jungle a lot faster. Now, we're going to talk about emblem sets most likely in our next game. We don't have enough time, but I choose to go for jungle emblem sets. And this emblem set you can choose to get right off the bat. It choose to get uh, a lock when you even are level 1, I believe. Maybe maximum level 5, which after tutorial you should be level 3 or 4. So uh, let's just say you start off getting it, right? And make sure you unlock jungle item sets and start using your resources like and fragment sets like uh, magic dust, especially magic dust towards jungle emblem sets because it give you attack speed, it give you movement speed, it give you attack damage. It's everything a marksman need. So I'm gonna tell everyone that you know uh, I'm going mid lane. So hopefully they let me go mid, right? Let me mid for easy win. All right, looks like they left. Fantastic job, guys. Really, really great. Uh, because they're able to leave, that's allow us to farm in the mid lane a lot faster. Now, obviously, in a higher elo game, you do not want to go mid lane with a marksman, right, most of the time. But here, um, we're going to go mid because it's, you know, we just start off the game, it's lower elo, and you want to take the opportunity to farm. But as you can see, they just push the wave to the tower exactly where I wanted the wave to be. And another thing is, when you play the game, as you can see, I'm not really hitting the minion. What I'm doing is I'm waiting for the tower to hit the minion a couple times and finish finish up the uh, minion with my last auto attack or ability. This way, I'm able to get a lot more experience in gold, and that's what I'm doing. And right after the minion, I return back to the jungle and hit the blue buff. As you can see, I start off hitting a small jungle minion. When I come back, my retribution is ready again. And I'm able to hit it again. And at level 3, you want to max your second ability first. <clears throat> Reason why is, this actually increases your cast range of the ability and make it hit a lot further. And this way you can kite a lot, a lot better with a slow. You can see I'm just ignoring this guy. And this guy thinks I want to fight him, but I really don't. I do want to farm this minion really fast. And another thing you notice me do is, I will all attack, move, all attack, and move. Right? It's actually pretty standard practice uh, when you play Marksman. I mean, you play a lot of characters, to be honest. <laughs> but here, tower is going to hit this minion one more time. Um, unfortunately, we're not able to get that last hit. But I can see the per the minion that we got last hit, we got 12 more gold compared to the minion we didn't get last hit. Now, you may think, oh, it's only 12 more gold. But it add up really quickly, okay? It add up to be a huge difference later on. So that's why you want to make sure you prioritize getting last hits. And here, um, we're going to use the ultimate just to help per assist on the wave clearing. And the carry is actually not just kind of ignoring us so we're gonna try to kick her ass and you know tell her to show her some respect right show some respect now after a successful successfully kick her out of the lane we're gonna go ahead and come to the river and kill this river crab right here um, again well, all of those provide you provide your farm and I'm gonna send an attack signal on our team here Almost died there. Almost died there. Fortunately, I do have my ultimate. If I didn't have my ultimate, I would have died for Yun Zhao, right? As a fighter, Yun Zhao one on one is really, really strong. And I don't know what this uh, carry is going to do here. I think if he flips one more time, I'm going to die. So I want to make sure that my positioning allows me not to be flipped by this uh, by this carry right here. So, yeah. Uh, we have regeneration. With regeneration, you want to go home. I look at carry on the side. Hey, carry, what's up? I'm gonna ignore carry actually. <laughs> now this carry tried to sneak behind the tower and try to kill me. He thinks that I'm gonna recall over there. Uh, well, a bet for him. Too bad for him not doing that, right? In fact, see ya. Right, Min Zhao though is a different story. He might just charge in the tower and, and kill me. So let's make sure Min Zhao's not in lane. I do not do not want to go home just yet because of the wave coming. And if you go home, you're gonna miss the entire wave experience. 
And that's actually a big no-no in a high ELO game. Now obviously you want to get a habit of not missing wave experience when you're starting off. So that's why you saw me really low, but I stayed close to the tower, uh, have the protection of the tower, and try to kill the wave before I recall. See, that, this way I recalled after the minion died, after all the minion died. When I come back to the wave, I'm going to be right on time to catch the entire minion wave again. And uh, this game, we actually have really good teammates. Now, skill aside, our teammates able to allow, allow us the uh, space to farm mid, which is really rare because I really don't see that quite often. So, cool. shout out to all our teammates for allowing us the space to farm. Uh, now, obviously, this top has some you know fight going on. Um, do you want to go help? The answer is no. As a marksman, if you rotate all the way to top, like uh, over here, it's gonna take you a lot of time. It's gonna take a lot of time. Okay, so I'm actually not going to do that. I'm just gonna stay here and farm really quickly. So now after cleaning the jungle medium, get a red buff, blue buff, what we do is we quickly come back to lane again. And your objective obviously is pushing towers. So you wanna make sure that you have enough space. But we noticed Yinja on the top lane really, really low. Eudora though, cutting our cutting our way to over there. Oh, we noticed Eudora used her stun already. So it's an opportunity for us to engage. But Carrie showed up. We do not wanna uh, one way two those two people, right? So make sure you mind your positioning um, all the time all the time and you draw still have stun so yeah she just used her stun again that means we can you know be a little aggressive uh, again um, basically you want to wait especially laning against Eudora you want to wait for her to use her abilities before you go in right because Eudora without abilities is kind of like Angel without wings it's really really bad right really really bad the champion can't do anything without abilities I mean she's a mage after all she relies on her abilities so you want to make sure that you know she used her abilities in lane to clean minion waves before you go in to unload your auto attacks right because if she do burst her ability uh, use her ability on you you'll get instantly bursted and that, that's not what you want that's not what you want and after that, we're going to quickly come back to lane once again. We see enemy team though. Taking the turtle down here. Let's see if I can snipe it. Oh, I noticed carry. Unfortunately, Yun Zhao is right here also. And I thought, I thought um, our monkey king was come to help, but he didn't. So I'm just going to die here. Because there's no way a Retribution Layla can escape from Yun Zhao, right? She has a speed boost. Uh, so sometimes you would think that your teammate didn't help. You would think the enemy team didn't help. Don't assume that, right? And apparently I assumed that and that's why I died uh, <laughs> this game. So don't assume your enemy team like won't help their teammates. But assume your team won't help your, won't help you, right? I thought I saw uh, Monkey King coming our way, that's why I went towards them and I decided to fight him. But unfortunately, uh, Monkey King just went back to his lane, right? On the mini map. So, uh, which turned out I was the only one on the mid lane fighting two of them. And that's not cool at all. So here, we're just going to go back to our farm. But that's no big deal at all. Uh, you're not. We are still where we're ahead on farm, as you can see. I'll come, I'll show you the leaderboard right here. Sword by gold. We're 4,100 gold, 700 gold ahead of the most farm champion, which is Yunjia on our team, and he has Inspire. And with cut with a little bit more farm, I'll be able to whoop Yunjia's ass later on. So, so he might be having a little temporary victory, temporary laugh. But let's see who will laugh in the end, right? Let's see who will laugh in the end. So we're gonna quickly clean the wave here. We see some fight going on on the top lane. Um, Leila gonna get all. Uh, uh, sorry. This Nana gonna get ult right here and die, but unfortunately I do not want to fight any further because I don't know where Yun Zhao is and I'm assuming that he's coming towards me again, so I'm gonna play a little careful. Psychos might kill this. Um, yep, he's gonna be successful. I'm gonna slow this Alucard right here. In fact, Alucard is gonna die um, because Alucard just jumped in the middle of our team here. I mean, which is not something you want to do. Um, and after that. I can choose to get tower, I can choose to get the red buff. I have my retribution ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this red buff really quickly. And kill the red buff, right? So after that, come to here, kill the small camp. And then after that, as you can see my item build path, which I'll talk about. I got Wind Talker as my first item. This is actually a really good item on Layla because it gives you movement speed, give you a little attack burst every fifth out attack. And the most important, like I said, about the movement speed. Um, mobility in this game is key, and you want to have, make sure that you have a lot of mobility, right? And next item, I'm actually going for Fallen Sword. This is one of the crucial items on Layla because it gives you attack speed, give you lifesteal, and it deals percentage da damage by percentage HP. This is really good going against champion like, you know, uh, any tank, for example. And you saw me using my ultimate just to clean up the kill here. Uh, this carry has no idea who he's going against right now, right? Obviously, he's trying to auto-attack me, and he, he thought he might have a chance, but little did he know, if you look at the leaderboard right now, Layla ha a carry has 3,600 gold. I have 6,000. I almost doubled her farm. You know, 
I can just auto attack her a couple times and kill Carrie. You know, I don't have to have any life steal. And just auto attack her and kill her. And she obviously showed no respect and she just went forward <laughs> and died, right? So, and notice I'm always moving when I'm attacking. And that's a habit you want to get yourself into right away. Okay, that's a habit you want to get yourself into right away. And when you have retribution, make sure you come to jungle, clean the medium wave, uh, clean the small medium here to get yourself further ahead in farm. Now, as you can see, enemy team, especially in lower elo, enemy or your team, including your team, most likely won't go to jungle and farm jungle minion. And that's where you set yourself apart from your uh, from the enemies and your, your teammates, right? To lead your teammates towards victory. Here, we're going to come back to blue buff. As you can see, we're out of mana. And killing blue buff not only give you 20% cooldown reduction, it also re uh, regenerate 50% of mana, right? As you can see, I'm back to full mana now. And Gordon most likely will die here and nothing we can do to save him. But make sure you don't go forward even though you saw Alucard used everything because if you go forward at this point, they do have a Yun Zhao chasing you. Um, they do have a Dora over there already. So it's a very dangerous, uh, dangerous position to be at, right? Now we're gonna send in one more auto attack and quickly back off. You know, this entire game, Monkey King just been staying on the bottom lane and push, <laughs> which is quite interesting. Um, at this point, I can sell my jungle item for another uh, long sword right here. There's no point on keeping it. Um, uh, as you can see, my engage on Layla is sending my second ability first for the slow, and then I go in for the auto attack, and then I go in for uh, in between auto attack, I will use my first ability, right? Um, to because they're in between auto attack, there's auto attack timer. They're chasing our monkey king really, really, really a lot. You no, know, there might be an opportunity for us to get a penta kill here. I mean, at least a quad or kill. Let's see. Um, because we're really farm, I'll show you the farm right now. Let's just see. We're backing off while auto attacking. Um, right? And not only Winjao's alive, uh, he's in this bush right here. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Easy quadra kill. Because what happens is enemy team already dumped everything on our Monkey King. And once they do, it's an opportunity for you to clean up. Because they don't have any abilities. Let's keep you can have some abilities, but it's not gonna be enough at this point. I'm really really far. Look at my auto attack. Each auto attack, each auto attack whenever Chris it does over a thousand damage. And it's only ten minutes in. I mean that's insane amount of damage, right? It's gonna look auto attack again. Let's see if I can show the crit again. Uh, yeah. 1300 crit damage, right? And the plus attack speed that Fallen Sword able to give me, I'm gonna be really, really hurt. And oh my god. See, Alucard chasing me again, but I'm just all attacking while moving and slow him once again. And in fact, he's dead. And now, carry showed up. Look how much damage I'm able to do to carry. Four all attacks and carry's dead, right? I mean, like, this is just where no mercy, right? No mercy. And we some fight going on the bottom lane. We're gonna quickly clean midway before we go help here. Um, yeah, Yun is gonna die there for sure, right? Yun is gonna die there for sure. Now, Nana, no, no limit, right? Nana just keep on chasing, and we're legendary now on Layla, you know? And with level, after level 12, Layla can, it's only ADC, I can shoot tower outside the tower range, you can see what I'm doing right now. And that's, that's really, really good, because even before minion waves show up, you can still kill towers. <laughs> and that's something really unique to Layla. No other marksman in this game can do this. So make sure, um, even though we're outside the tower range, you do this kind of stuff. And here, uh, hopefully, hopefully carry show up, you know. Because I really don't want to kill the tower here. Okay, let's just end the game. Another tips and tricks you notice I do that I do though is when I'm close to the tower, I always hit the button on the right corner next to the attack button, not the attack button itself. Because if you hit a tech button and there's a minion show up, there's a champion show up, the auto attack system will actually make you go attack the minion or the champion rather than the tower. So you would change your target. And that's not what you want to do, because you want to focus on the tower. So that's what I did, right? I hit a tower, I click on the tower uh, attack button, and that's exactly where, where, where it goes. How do you turn on the tower lock mode? It's actually in setting, right? If you go to setting and you click on control, as you can see, there's a target, there's a free aim, and their last hit attack, right? You can use auto aim, you can make sure you have free aim selected and have last hit attack. This way you have a minion attack mode on and a tower lock mode on. So with that, let's quickly go to our second ranked game when we play Zilom. All right guys, so why don't we go ahead and click on ranked and click on star right away to make sure that we're queuing. And while you're queuing, every day by the way, if you're able to win three silver games or two gold, or one gold or one silver, or just one MVP game, you already unlock this box. Okay, the golden box in the top corner here. And click on it, get a lot of good stuff. So make sure every day you play at least two to three games to get one of those boxes, unlock one of those boxes, because it does help you with your emblem sets. As you can see, well, let's go back to emblem sets once again. We can upgrade our jungle emblem sets again, and we're gonna keep on doing that. 
right? Unfortunately, we don't have enough to go for uh, for another level here. But as you can see, my general emblem sets at level 11, right? Physical and my other emblem sets stopped at 14. But they were leveled up because we did our achievements. And that's another thing we're going to talk about in our further episodes. But right now, let's focus on getting Zilong, right? Because the game is getting started. We still have two more people. And this time, we're going to analyze our team comp and aiming team comp. The hardest part of learning a MOBA, especially for example Mobile Legend, who came out, with, uh, came out with a new champion every other week, you want to understand what each enemy champion does, right? It's going to take you a while to play every single hero, but at least you want to get a hang of what each hero does, right? So you know how to counter them, you know how to, how to play around them, because if you don't know what enemy does, if you don't know Eudora has a stun, for example, <clears throat> You will just go out attack her and she will stun you and use everything on you and you will just die. Right? So here we're gonna play Yun Zhao. As you can see, right now we play five games with 100% win rate, uh, all in ranked. And uh, we got a skin, right? And this is the benefit of being a new player, right? I don't even have this skin, right? And I played this game for over six months, my main account. But this skin looks pretty darn cool, right? Now I have obviously I have the Dragon Eye skin, I bought that myself. And that looks super dope, you know, look at that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't have that in this account. But you have this Golden Warrior skin, which still looks pretty cool. Look at that big spear, you know? Like, it looks much better compared to this, um, like, ruby kind of spear. You know, that spear looks okay and all, but this spear looks Golden Warrior, right? <laughs> that looks cool, you know? That's something I like, right? Look at the way he stands. So, let's talk about emblem sets. I'm still gonna use jungle emblem sets, and look at what it offers me. 3% attack speed, 6 attack points, uh, 6 physical attack, 1 armor, 2% movement speed, some HP, and some magic resist, right? The movement speed especially is really important for you. Because Yun Zhao, when you activate ultimate, you're gonna move super fast, right? Plus the extra movement speed this emblem sets give you, you're gonna roam on the map a whole lot faster than anyone else on the map. When you activate ultimate, no one can chase you. So that's why we, we chose to go with jungle emblem sets. Physical emblem sets does not give you movement speed. So do not waste all your resources. When I say all resources, I especially meant magic dust. Because if you have if you have like physical emblem sets, if you have physical emblem fragments, if you have uh, magic emblem fragments, make sure you upgrade them. That's fine, right? But if you don't have, uh, if you have magic dust, which can replace the missing fragments, make sure you don't waste that on. Um, okay, it looks like we have two people, three people that want to go mid here. Uh, we're interesting, you know, ranked games. Um, <laughs> yeah, new players at its core, right? So you don't want to argue with them, you don't want to fight them. What you want to do is you quickly come here and farm. Hopefully this guy doesn't steal our farm here. And as far as farm this blue buff also. We have three people mid. Now you can see right now it's a huge mistake our player our teammates are making. Because bottom lane experience is a complete open and no one is taking it. No one is taking it, right? And you don't want that to happen. Cause what separate apart what separate you and your enemies, the differences between gold is come from minion, lane minion and jungle, right? Obviously, I'm jungling right now, but what I do want to do is come back to lane and quickly get lane experience before I go back to jungle. So here, I'm quickly gonna use. So here, I'm quickly gonna use. Here, I'm quickly gonna use. Uh, uh, retribution to get a small camp right here, and it was as long as you want to max your second ability because you increase your charge distance. Here, um, I don't want to. He instantly recall back or walk back, which is a good decision here. I'm gonna get boost so I can move around between jungle and uh, bottom lane faster. Um, it stays though, it's down the top, it seems to actually rotate towards mid lane. So we have three mid, I mean like, I thought this, Belmont, or, or, I usually call him naked guy because look at him. He's naked, right? So, <laughs> I see Belmont going mid, that's why I went bottom, I see he's just going top, but unfortunately, they all went, they all went uh, to bottom lane. So I have to use my ultimate, give me the speed boost, you can see, and then he's gonna go back to top lane. Don't wanna miss any mini experience, I already did. And let's see if we can still catch this range minion. And um, in fact, we did. And look at this guy. He stayed in our tower for way too long. And one more tower shot, he's going to be dead, right? So this, obviously, this uh, Layla doesn't know who it's going against. I'm just waiting for my ultimate to come up. In fact, it come up now. And we're going to activate ultimate and quickly kill this Layla, right? Unfortunately, he's find a, a shelter under tower there. Now, if you find a shelter under tower, I don't want to go in, right? Because if I go in, I can kill her for sure, but I'm going to die in return. Now, 
Dying doesn't lose you any gold, but it does slow down your farm. So that's not something that I'm interested in. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let her go. Sometimes you're gonna learn how to let go, right? Just like Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Don't hold it back anymore. Okay, that's actually a different, um, different meaning. But you know what I mean, right? <laughs> the point of the point of what I'm trying to say is let it go, right? Let it go, let the kill go. Don't get too greedy. Greed is the biggest. Greed is your biggest enemy. A lot of times, all right. So don't get too greedy. Um, we're gonna come here and kill this river crap. It's gonna be some. Give me some HP regen and quickly come back to the blue buff right here once again. Now obviously Maya is pushing top like. Like he never pushed before, so we're gonna quickly clean this wave and use our retribution. And because we can't, because we have retribution, right? Everybody cleans wave really fast. And man, I still pushing the tower thing. I assume I use my. All right. Hopefully, Maya is attacking me. Let's gonna see. Maya has no idea what she's doing, right? She obviously attacked me under my tower. Now that's you will see that quite often in a lower elo game. You will not see that in a higher elo game, but as more you progress, players are gonna get a lot smarter. Obviously, as a new player, he doesn't really know what she's doing. So, I'm gonna bait this Yunjiao. I'm gonna bait him, right? He's gonna come towards me. Come, 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 come closer. Right? <laughs> you know, I'm just baiting him, and I'm just make, trying to make him get closer to me, because obviously I look really, really low. So what I do wanna do is utilize the advantage of my, of my tower here, and get him close to my tower, and flip him under tower, right? Some basic strategies. Um, yeah, I died, but oh my lord! I thought I was able to kill him. Obviously, I have one HP, and this guy charged in. Uh, one of those were unfortunate things because you don't know. You know, I underestimated my uh, enemy way too much, <laughs> so I assume that he's gonna leave me alone to farm in the jungle. But I ended up farming the jungle and take a lot of minion damage and obviously when he showed up, I was like 1 HP, right? So, uh, quite unfortunately for Dave, you know, I could have just run away there, but I decided to outplay him. Uh, <laughs> which resulted in the death, but it's okay though. That's quite okay. You know, because we're still where we're ahead on farm and we're gonna continue to farm, right? In this, this game is actually quite hard. As you can see, our enemy, our teammates, except for Eudora, who is 3-1 and who's a mage, obviously able to get some kills in the end. But our front lines, our uh, Alucard, our uh, support, are kind of feeding right now, right? And it's long. Your first item should be, complete item should be Berserker Fury. This guy going to give you so much more damage. And the next item is going to be Hats Claw, right? Hats Claw. Um, and we're going to get Warrior, Warrior Boots. Um, sorry, this boots right here. Called, yeah, Warrior Boost. Right after this, we're gonna kill Tower here and ignore this guy completely. All right, look, there's no way he can find me. And when you try to get away, I just flip it. And now you can die, right? So, obviously, Rinjao thinks he can kill me once and kill, do it again. Well, that's not how it works, my friend. Now, this this guy, I actually don't know what he's, who he's dealing with, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just auto-attack him. Walk, auto-attack him. Use my ultimate, flip. Right? There's no way you can go right now. And you're dead, right? Just like that, one by one by one by one by one. They just keep on feeding me, right? Let me get ahead really, really well. So let's go ahead and kick, uh, uh, hit this tower right now. But what do you do want to notice is enemy Yunjiao is up, right? Uh, on the on the little bar on the top, you can see who is up, who is dead. Now Yunjiao is up, and he's going to charge at me. As you can see, he went to the top lane. He's going to charge at me with his ultimate. I'm half HP without too much mana. I do can kill him without a tower, but... He's right next to the tower, so what I do want to do is not fight him, right? Not fight him. So retribution is ready. I'm gonna use one last auto attack and kill this blue pop real quickly. Use my ultimate to assist the jungle pushing right here. Now I see a lot of fights going on in the mid lane. Uh, can I help? Not really. So when you can't help, you just go back to your farm. You know, because you don't want to charge into the middle of the team, especially when enemy team have a Rafaela who can slow heal. And so you do a lot of damage, but then if Rafaela healed the enemy team, you're gonna put yourself in danger. Now. This is kind of this is kind of interesting because they already dumped everything. So, so now time for you to come here and get a triple kill, right? Now I'm gonna focus on Maya right here because that's my primary target. Oh, unfortunately, I thought she walked backwards, but she did not, which is interesting. And they were able to get away, but Rafael ended up dying, right? So I noticed someone on the top lane. I'm gonna go kill Layla right after this minion here. Yeah, Layla is surely dead. Layla has Inspire, which is gonna be useless in front of Yunjiao right here, right? I'm not, I can't, I can just sit here, don't auto attack her, that's also fine. But I don't wanna waste time here, I'm gonna quickly kill her, right? So, 
Just activate your ultimate when you try to kill someone. There's not, there's nowhere they can escape, right? Here, I'm gonna come back to the jungle minion and hit it again. Kill it really, really fast and go back to wave clearing. As you can see, my life steal is insane right now. I'm able to go back to full HP just after hitting minions a couple times. And then right now we're going for Has Claw as our next item. And I see Rafaela right here. So let's focus on Rafaela right now, right? So as you can see, my damage is absolutely insane. Just a couple auto attacks and this, this Maya is surely dead, right? Same as this Yunjar right here. He has no idea who he's going against. I'm just waiting for my uh, ability to flip right here. Now, Layla showed up. What he do? What he do not want to do is go in there and try to hit him under, the, under his tower, right? Like the enemy Maya did just now. So this Layla, though, is just hiding in the bush, you know, hiding under the tower. Don't know what's going on. I'm going to flip him. Can I flip her? Oh, unfortunately, I can't flip her. You know, the, the wood's a little bit too thick, too thick for me to flip. So I'm going to just quickly kill this guy. And now Layla's dead, right? Let's hope that you see uses heal for one time in the lifetime, right? You see, can you use heal? All right, you see, D is use heal. Now, as you can see, the reason why I didn't run away is because we do have an Estes who can heal, right? Obviously, he healed quite late, um, but he did heal. And you do not want to go in the tower range to attack the minion there. That was a huge mistake. So what I do want to do is kill this turtle. Turtle is a very important objective that you want to get for your team because after you kill turtle, everyone, everyone on your team get 150 gold and a lot of experience. This is actually going to assist your early, early farm a lot. So here we're going to charge on turtle, use retribution to finish off. And our next item is Scarlet Phantom as you see I get. It's really a crucial item on Yunjiao because it gives you a lot of attack speed, a lot of critical strike chances, and it, it gives you a lot of damage, right? It's one of the best items on Yunjiao here. I'm going to quickly flip this guy. Looks three out attack and Layla is dead, right? Obviously this guy don't know who he's dealing against and he's going to come here and try to flip me, but little did he know, you just walk into your grave. Right? Because I'm a really farm at this point, and obviously enemy team don't know that, you know, as a new player, um, you want to be careful with gold. Look at the leaderboard right here, I'm a sword by gold. I have 86, 8700 gold. The most farm champion on the enemy team is Eudora, was 45. I doubled their most farm champion's gold, right? That's how farmed I am. So for them to come to me and try to find me is a huge mistake. Because whoever comes will die. I can probably 1v3 their uh, ADC plus their Rinjao right now. And not actually not Rinjao because Rinjao can flip you. And I can't do anything when he's flipping me. So I'm going to quickly come out of jungle and extend our lead as you can see I'm doing. You know, I'm not I'm not taking this where, um, you know, where quickly. I'm not taking this in a hurry. I'm just taking my time. Now I better get this blue buff. Alakar tried to steal it. Unfortunately for him, we did, we did get it before he steal it, right? So now I can sell the jungle item because I can buy some other stuff for my for my stash. The 250 gold jungle item is just to assist you farm jungle a whole lot faster. Make sure that you had because it does give you 20% extra experience. Now, if you look at leaderboard once again, I'm level 14. The most farm champion, the second farm champion is level 10 on the mini team, right? They're very, very not farm. They're not farm at all. Now, in this case, I saw three people in the mid lane. Should I go in? Four people in the mid lane, actually. I would not go in. I'm trying to seduce them now. Rafaela just wasted her ultimate. Now and our team seemed like they didn't want to do anything about it at all. Uh, so we're just going to use ultimate right here. This is going to be an easy quadra kill for me, right? If Rafaela didn't run away. So Rafaela is running towards the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Easy Maniac, right? I don't know where... Um, Let's go run to see if I can find a Pinda kill here. Mine's on top lane. I don't think I run there in time to get a Pinda kill, but it's kind of like an artificial Pinda kill because I did kill all five of them by myself. So, yeah, they later did. Yeah, quite unfortunate for them, you know, that they have to fight and let me farm so much. I'm level 15 right now, the maximum level in this game. And we're enemy team, um, the highest level is still only level 11, you know. So, uh, compared to gold right now, I love 1200 gold. I've doubled, more than doubled the most farm champion enemy team, right? But still, you do not want to fight under their tower because that's just stupid. You're just basically walking to your grave, right? So, you don't want to do what enemy team are doing. This is the other card who tried to steal farm. You know, obviously, you know, one, one of those players are just really, really awful because I do not like people who like to steal farms, especially from people who are carrying you so hard right now, right? I do have more. I do have immortality. See if I can kill this Maya just in time. Oh my God! Inhuman reactions. For Pinda kill. Pinda kill Maya. Oh Maya used the ultimate right before that. So we're not able to get Pinda kill, but we do get two mini act this game. Uh, we're insane. <laughs>
<laughs> we're easy and uh, we're an exciting game to be honest. So now we progressed because the actual star we're gonna progress to elite one with one star. So I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks to again extend your farm. Don't get execute. Don't get inspired. All those battle spells are really really bad early on. What you do want to get is retribution to extend your farm in the jungle. And then see we got MVP again. This game we got 20 kills, and one death. Right that that. <laughs> That the uh, Yun Zhao there <laughs> put a little put a little mark on my perfect score, but that's all right. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. We're gonna start off next episode from Epic One with one star, and we're gonna start with two new champions. Let me know what champions that you want me to play in our next Let's Go Road to Legend Let's Play Mobile Legend series. So with that, this is Assassin Dave. Peace out. Love you guys, and see you guys next time.